So Devin and I had to go take a trip and we couldn't bring all the dogs. Two of them we boarded at our favorite place that's in Tennessee. And then we didn't want to board Lady just because she's still a puppy. So we decided to take her with us, which this was the first time that she was gonna be ever flying with us. We've never flown with any of our dogs before. So we really weren't sure how it was going to go. So first things first, I'm just gonna go over like our entire experience from what we learned and what we would do differently. So one of the things when we were looking it up, um, some airlines, they charge $200 flat fee. We were doing a Southwest air flight and it was $95 exactly. And when we're looking on the Southwest air flight, it said that they needed to be in a bag, a dog bag, a carrier bag, whatever you want to call it, that can fit underneath the seat. They need to be able to sit and stand up and move around if they want to. We found this bag at Walmart. I think the price was about $30 or $40 after taxes, but I really liked it because it could be a backpack and it was guaranteed to fit no matter what plane you were on. So the other ones were bigger at Walmart, but just in case if it couldn't fit, then we wouldn't be able to take her. You also cannot take your dog out of the bag either. So we just thought this would be a perfect fit for her. And we just had more satisfaction of knowing that she would be able to fit and not have to like try to find someone last minute before the flight we did read on southwest somewhere that it said that you need to check in your dog 24 hours before you fly so we tried to do that and then they looked at us like um you don't need to do that you just bring your dog and it's either approved or not approved right before you fly and i'm like oh, okay so that's exactly what we did we did that when we were checking in our bags that go underneath the plane and they were like yeah she's good to go here's her ticket and we put it on the bag one of the things that i really liked about flying with her is that they all have from our experience have sections for your dog to go to the bathroom this was their section it's literally its own bathroom it has a sink in there which is great if you want to wash your hands or wash your dog's paws afterwards and then again it has this little fake grass area which is what she's used to going on anyways so after a while she was like walking around trying to figure out you know what is what but after a while she does go to the bathroom she peed and pooped which made me feel so good because I was like oh it was only a two hour flight but still I was just a little nervous if she would go before the flight and then how she would do on the flight as well since this is her first flight another thing that they said when we were looking at the rules for flying with your dogs is that they want your dogs vaccinated but you do not need to bring proof so if you do think that you have to pack your dog's vaccination papers you don't have to again the only thing that I just really noticed that they really do care about is that your dog can stand and move and turn around in their bag and that they're not squished which is really great and that you do not take your dog out during the flight which was actually a big bummer because I would have loved to have held her um but she didn't do anything when she was on the flight she was just laid there and slept she was really good and she didn't really care. So if your dog is pretty chill at home, they'd probably be pretty chill on the flight, I would hope. We ended up sitting at the very back of the plane too, which is supposed to be louder and more noise and you can feel more during the flight. And she did really well. Now she didn't really care to eat, which I was like, ah, I hope I can feed her because if she doesn't eat, then she doesn't eat breakfast. And then if she doesn't eat on the plane. So I did sprinkle some food in there. Here she is. She's not too happy with us because she wants to get out, but she wanted to explore so much. And I didn't want to risk like her like getting out, running around. Plus, this is a new environment and everything. Look at her. <laughs> she's like slouching her back up. She actually can fully stand in there, but she like the way she was standing, she was just making herself look crowded. She was just at that point not really caring about there because she wanted to run around but after we put her in there we put some food in there she eventually just laid down and was like whatever this is my life now and she just took a nap and she just did her first flight like a champ this will not be the only time we will ever fly with her i'll definitely take her again if we ever need to go somewhere because she did so good and it was really simple and easy like honestly i definitely overthought it and it wasn't as bad as I would think it would be cause just because this is her first time ever flying with the dog. She did really good. The flight attendant said that they didn't even know that she was with us until we were leaving. And then they saw us walking and her and her 
little carrier right here. They're like, oh, you had a dog? <laughs> like, yes, we had a dog. She didn't bark or anything. She was cool and she was just really cozy. So this was her entire experience and our experience as well. 10 out of 10 recommend if you don't want to board your dog, you don't have to. But she did really well and yeah, we will definitely bring her again. What's also super funny is at this point, she was just like so cozied up in there and didn't even care to like be out and play. She was just so chill, which just this is how she is at home. Once she gets in this mood, she's like she puts herself to bed all the time. So this is her in that mood of just like staying in bed and being comfortable. We opened this up and she just wanted to stay in there. We even took her out and she like went back in there. She was happy to be in there, which is, again, how she is at home. So. Again, 10 out of 10 would recommend if you want to bring your dog, go ahead and bring them. I had a good experience and I'm happy that we did bring her even though we were hesitant. So yeah, this was our experience and this was Lady's experience.